freaking way did that just happen? Oh, thank you, Lord. Well, 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 guys, what is up? It is October something or other. I think it's around the 27th or 28th, something close to there. Uh, we are down in southwest Wisconsin again, hunting in Sauk County. Uh, we're fortunate enough to know a guy down here that has right around 550-ish acres of land. So that's pretty neat. And there are some giants on it. So we are, we just got down here. It was about a three and a half hour drive from where we're at up north. And we're gonna be down here for five or six days. Tonight's gonna be kind of a sit and observe type of sit. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out kind of what the deer movement is and what's going on. So with that being said, let's get after it and uh, we'll catch you guys in the stand. As you can see, we're pretty loaded down. Camera gear, battling the horns, all that jazz. Packing a lot of this stuff in just because it's warm. It's like 50 degrees out right now. Bucks should be on their feet or getting close to that, checking scrapes, stuff like that. So we're open at night by sneaking up in here. Should have a good chance of seeing a good buck tonight. So stay tuned. We're gonna do our best. And Try to put one on the ground in these next six days. Here we go. As you can see behind me, we got the field edge that kind of runs back. I actually got out here and kicked a doe off the field. She ran back down behind me. Kind of a big ravine that runs down. There's a bench that kind of walks up out of the bottom. I think it'll be a good spot for deer to be crossing up into the fields and or wherever it may be. But this edge behind me has got a crazy amount of scrapes on it. Um, for right now, I think this is probably going to be one of my better spots to sit. At least for a couple afternoons or a couple mornings. Just because of the sign. I didn't want to push my luck going in here too far, too fast, too early in my hunts. So, as the uh, weekend goes on, depending on my luck, we'll either push back further in that way or stay here or wherever the deer are at, I guess.
not set this morning. And then once it gets a little later in the morning, I'm gonna slide my stand on this ridge a little bit more to where that big deer came on last night chasing the does. It seemed like a lot of the deer wanted to go over to that corner, so go set up there and I guess we'll see what happens.
my god. That is my biggest bug. Oh my god. This is not real. That did not just happen. Oh, no freaking way did that just happen. I think he's down right there. I'm pretty sure he cracked that second arrow in him. Dude. I just shot him at, I think it's 20 yards, not even, 18 yards. He ran out to 50 and stopped. I quick ranged him and I sent another one and I hit him a second time. So I'm hoping the second shot looked really good and the first shot was solid. Um, he wasn't in good shape. He was over there and I'm pretty sure I heard him crash over there. So my God. I really hope he's down. Shot him, so I shot him at 18 yards and then he ran out to 50 and I smoked him again. Grimmer, what's up, buddy? Haug. <laughs> we gotta buck down, baby. Hey, <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, I may have just stuck a, a good one. All right, guys. Just got down. Checked first impact. There's good blood right off the bat. I'm pretty sure I watched him go down. Just past where I shot him the second time when he was standing there, so we should be in good shape. We're gonna get down. I'm gonna get on that blood trail. I couldn't find my arrow, which I thought passed through on that first shot, but apparently not. But so I'm gonna get down. We'll follow that track up to where I shot him at 50 yards slowly and uh, see where it goes from there. Um, he should be laying not too much further than that from what I could hear and see, so. Oh, I'm freaking pumped. This is crazy. I can't believe this just happened. I just called all the boys. Everybody's excited and pumped to see what he is, so we're gonna get after him. See these paths coming through here? They're pretty solid. There's first blood. Pretty solid. Then he ran through here. Some good blood here. Continued on that way out to 50 yards. Let's sneak up here. Blood on the grass here. Ferns. Just went barreling out. This grass is so hard to track a deer on. Mind you, this I am majority colorblind, so I really struggle with this. There's blood all over the grass here. Oh yeah, okay. So, oh, he's freaking right here. No way, he did not go far at all, guys. Oh my God, he is freaking nice, guys. Jeez Louise. Okay, there he is. Look where he crashed. There's the horns. No freaking way, guys. He did not go far at all. I wasn't sure if he was going to make it too far with the shot I had on him, but... Oh my god. He is a good one. Jesus. Oh my god, it's him. It is that big one. I'm pretty sure it is. No freaking way did I just kill that buck. No way. Look at the gnarly shit on him. Oh my god, he is a tank. Guys, what just happened? I just killed the big guy. No freaking way did that just happen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh my god, I didn't want anything more than this. I couldn't ask for anything more. That is a tank.